嗨，各位同学好，欢迎来到 Forty Forex 自然音标。Forty Forex 自然音标的课程。今天老师要为你介绍的是 Vocabulary of the Day。Vocabulary of the Day。同样的，我们今天可以到 cn.com、edition.cn.com 去寻找本日的 Headline News of the Day。每日焦点新闻，并且从中去学习一些。单字的拼技巧以及逻辑。Okay, students, let's go to the cn.com, edition.cn.com, and search for the headline news of the day. And pick, we can probably pick up some vocabulary words and learn their spelling and pronunciation rules and skill. Okay, the article for today is Zika's Ground Zero. Uganda's Zika forest, birthplace of virus, threatening the world. Zika's ground zero. Uganda's Zika forest, birthplace of virus, threatening the world. Zika's ground zero. Uganda's Zika forest, birthplace of virus. Threatening the world. Okay, let's check out the story, the article of the day. And、uh, students, if you wish to study with me with this article, if you do, just remember from the top right.、Uh, You will see a search menu. On the top right, you will see a search menu. Please type the article title exactly the same into the search menu, and we can learn this story together. And the article title for today is "Uganda's Zika Forest: Birthplace of the Zika Virus." Uganda's Zika forest, birthplace of the Zika virus. Again, the article for today is Uganda's Zika forest, birthplace of the Zika virus. Okay, Zika virus is a very dangerous virus, and they, well, I think we can. Learn something new from this story. Story highlight: Researchers first identified the Zika virus in 1947 after a fever developed in a rhesus monkey. Many scientists believe the 2007 strain of Zika has mutated from the original virus. With increased virulence. Okay, I'm gonna read the CNN news for you guys. Zika virus Uganda CNN. The turn off into the Zika forest is easy to miss. Just a small break in the tree line along the main roads between. Antib Antibi Airport and the Uganda's capital Kampala, a warning sign announcing its start only comes into view after a journey down a small dirt path. The explosive spread of the Zika virus may have caught the world by surprise, but it's ransacked the forest. Preserve near the edge of Lake Victoria isn't a place to just stumble onto. The researchers have, who have been coming here for more than a half century, come with a purpose: to study viruses and the mosquitoes that carry them. Zika sexually transmitted in Texas, CDC confirms. Every year we come across new viruses," said Julius Lubwama, 
Li researchers at the Uganda Virus Research Institute (UVRI) who joins the forest in the last five years or so. Almost each year, we come across a new virus in this city. Uganda sits in the middle of seven distinct biogeography zones. To the east, the savannas of Kenya and Tanzania. To the west, the Congo Basin rainforest. And the Rudwama credits the biodiversity for the attracting the first scientists here in the 1930s. Okay. And students, if you are interested with this article, and if you do, ah,、uh, just you can go ahead and read along yourself. And now I'm gonna stop here, and ah,、uh, uh, let's go for the note I have prepared for you guys to study. For things, let's read article title with me, Zika, Zika's Ground Zero, Uganda's. Zika forest birds plays a virus threatening the world again. Zika's ground zero. Uganda's Zika forest birds plays a virus threatening the world. Zika ground zero. Uganda's Zika forest birds plays a virus threatening. The world, and now we have two vocabulary words. We are going to discuss their meaning, usage, pronunciation, and definition. And we、we'll、use the spelling bee's pronunciation and spelling improvement and the skill. Let's take a look. The first vocabulary words: forest, forest. Forest. Definition of forest in English: noun, a large area covered chiefly with trees and undergrowth. A pine forest. Much of Europe was covered with forest. For example, sentences: Decades ago, these slopes were covered with forests, and the trees. Root systems tie the soil to the hillsides. Origin Middle English in the sense woody area kept for hunting, also denoting any uncultivated land. Va or French from late Latin forestis, selva, literally woods outside from Latin forest, outside sea forest. Let's take a look at the second both happy words. Virus, virus, virus. Definition of virus in English: noun, an infective agent that typically consists of a nucleic acid molecule in a protein coat. Is too small to be seen by light microscopy, and it's able to multiply only within the living cells of a host. A virus infection. More example sentences. When found outside of host cells, viruses exist as a protein called R. Capsules sometimes enclosed within a membrane. Origin: Late Middle English, denoting the venom of a snake. From Latin, literally, simply, slimy liquid, poison. The earlier medical sense superseded by the current use as a result. Of improved scientific understanding, was a substance produced in the body as the result of disease, especially one that is capable of 
infecting others with the same disease. As to the noise of time, I'm going to repeat the pronunciation and definition part for those two vocabulary words. And this time, I want you to read along with me. Start the first vocabulary words. Forest, forest, forest. Definition of forest in English. Noun. A large area covered chiefly with trees and undergrowth. A pine forest. Much of Europe was covered with forest. For example, sentences. Decades ago, the slopes were covered with forests and the trees. Root system tied the soil to the hillsides. Origin: Middle English in the sense wooded area, kept for hunting, also denoting any uncultivated land. While Old French for lay Latin forests, selva. Literally, wood outside for Latin forest, outside see foreign. Let's take a look at the second vocabulary words: virus, virus, virus. Definition of virus in English: noun, an infective agent that typically consists of a nucleic. Acid molecule in a protein coat is too small to be seen by light microscopy, and is able to multiply only with the living cells of a host. A virus infection. More example sentences. When found outside of a host cells. Viruses exist as a protein coat or capsid, sometimes enclosed with a membrane. Origin: Lay Middle English, denoting the venom of a snake. From Latin, literally, slimy liquid, poison. The early medical sense, superseded by the current use. As a result of improved scientific understanding, was a substance produced in the body as the result of disease, especially one is capable of infecting others with the same disease. Hello, 同学们，现在。Uh, okay, students.、Uh, now we are going to redefine those two vocabulary words. We're going to use phonics, spelling, and、uh, pronunciation improvement and skill. Okay, let's check those two vocabulary words. Forest. Okay, 我们来看 forest， 中世纪的英文。好，啊，可以从这个。古法文或者晚一点的拉丁文 ，forests 啊，所以我们看这个 forests 啊，那我们当然后面是没有那个 i s 的这个拼法哈，好，所以啊，我们来先看啊，那 forest 啊，我们看它重音在第一个音节，所以我们的 strong 重音在第一个音节哈，所以我们的 strong syllable 啊，我们的强音节在第一个音节。Weak syllable， 我们的弱音节在第二个音节，好，所以第一个音节强音节，第二个音节弱音节，约重音，好，我们的 main stress， 主重音在第一音节，好，所以主重音在第一音节，第一音节是重音，哈，所以我们在一母音一的这个地方补它一个弱母音进来，哈，所以弱母音我们就念 ust， 所以有的人喜欢念 forest， 有人念 forest。啊，都有人念哈，因为这就是弱母音 e 或 e 哈 ，forest forest 啊，都有人念。好，我们的第一个找到在弱音节这个地方哈，找到第一个母音补个弱母音进来。
好，在强音节这个地方呢，我们看它的组合哈。好，是用 onset f nucleus 啊，核音在 o。好，我们看它的核音在哪？在 o r， 它没有 coda。好，所以我们看它的首音哈，它的首音是 f， 它的核音是 o r， 它没有尾音。所以我们看这个地方组合哈，我把它再把它。放大一点哈 ，forest， 啊，先补一个重音，落母音在 est， 啊，所以落母音在第二音节，所以它前面第一个音节的组合是 consonant、vowel、r， consonant、vowel、r， 所以我们用 semi r 啊，假性母音哈，假母哈，假母音 r 啊，假啊。过来，所以我们可以看到它的组合 consonant vowel r 在第一个音节，所以它是 c v r， 所以我们把 v n r 啊，因为它没有 coda， 所以它就是直接拿 nucleus 来发音，所以我们在这个地方画个双箭头朝上啊，双箭头朝上，它套用的公式，自然发音 f o r n e 的规则叫做 r control r control syllable r control vowel。啊，就 r 控制出来的变音，好，所以 o r or， 好，记得 r control rules， a e i o u， a r e r i r o r u r， 就念 r r e r or u r， 啊，看到五个假音过来了哈，所以 forest， 我们再看一遍。F O R syllable E S T main stress first syllable C V R first syllable consonant vowel R V N R diphthong or V N R O R as diphthong O R as diphthongs or O R 用双母音 or， 所以这边写个 d， 啊，这边写个 w weak vowel forest again f o r syllable e s t man stress first syllable first syllable consonant vowel r v n r o r as diphthong or diphthong or We got e forest, forest, forest. 再看第二个单词 virus, virus. 看它的哈，中晚世纪的英文哈，啊，中晚世纪的英文哈，那重音在哪呢？重音在第一个音节，所以又是一样哈 ，strong syllable, strong syllable, first syllable, weak syllable. 啊、uh, ，weak syllable, second syllable， 第二音节，所以我们第二音节找到第一个母音在 u 的地方，画个落母音过来，补个二过来 ，rus, rus, rus， 啊，很简单哈。那第一个音节我们看它组合是 onset, v, so， 啊，它不是哈 ，onset, sorry 哈 ，onset， 首音 v。啊，首音开头子音 v， nucleus， i， 核音，跟刚刚一样，没有 coda 哈，没有尾音，所以所以注意看哈，所以没有，它重音在第一个音节，母音又是最后一个字，母音又是唯一的母音，所以它套用的 f o r n e y 的公式是 vowel before syllable。啊，它套用这个是 vowel before syllable， 就是 open syllable 的公式。open syllable， 所以我们来看 v i r u s， 所以我们再画个箭头过来 ，open syllable。好，我们这边因为母音后面没子音了哈，母音后面没子音了哈，不好意思压到哈，所以它用 consonant vowel interpunct。Consonant vowel syllable 
或者我们叫 consonant vowel interpunct 啊啊 p u n c t 母音哈，子母节音节，好，所以这时候画一个朝上过来拉上来的一个长母音 long vowel i v i v i weak vowel u r s r s again v i r u s Man stress first syllable. Vowel before syllable. Therefore, long vowel I, V. Weak vowel U, second syllable. Rust, virus. Again, V I, syllable R U S. Long vowel I, vowel before syllable. Long vowel I. Vi, weak vowel u, virus, virus. 好的，我们再次把这两个单词再做一下练习。Forest, forest, forest. Virus, virus, virus. 好的，同学们，如果你觉得 David 老师用这种自然发音 f o r e i g n 的方式，带领你进入 f o r e i g n t i c 音标的世界，并且用 f o r e i g n t i c 线形符号来表达，啊，用箭头来指示母音，它所发出来是短母音、长母音、双母音还是轻母音，或者我们用线形符号哈，用线条来表达，啊。子音的特殊发音形式，如特殊的二合子音等等，对你的拼音技巧逻辑有所帮助的话，也欢迎大家用 Google Plus 啊，用 Google 加啊 ，Google Plus 啊 ，Google 加 David 老师的 ID David T T I G L A 加 David 老师做好友。And friends, if you find my pronunciation, ah,、uh, rules pronunciation. Videos are useful, and if you do,、uh, if you want to become my friend, simply you just use Google Plus and、uh, find my ID David T T I G L A, and、uh, just add me into your Google Plus friend circle. And、uh, also, if you wish to write me an email, my email account is David T T I G L A at gmail dot com. I'm also using Line Communicator. My Line ID is David Ting One Six A A A. Feel free to send me a message. And、uh, thanks for your video watching and video sharing my pronunciation videos. If you find my videos are useful, and if you do, please subscribe my YouTube channel. 觉得 David 老师啊有帮到你的话，也欢迎大家订阅我的 YouTube 频道。以上就是今天的 vocabulary of the day， 谢谢各位同学观赏。